Hello students, good morning. Today again I am with you, with your English reader Dream Catcher. And today we will take chapter 9, The Woman on Platform 8. In today's video, we will discuss about the author and the summary of the story, today's story. First of all, I am explaining and giving you little information about the Ruskin Bond, about the author. Ruskin Bond is an Indian author of British descent. He lives in Masuri, India. Being a writer for over 50 years, Bond experimented with different genres. Early works include fiction, short stories, novel, with some being autobiography. Later he tried out non-fiction, romance and books for children. He said his favorite genres are essays and short stories. He considers himself a visual writer because of short stories. His first novel, The Room on the Roof, was written when he was 17 and published when he was 21. His first children's book was The Angry River in the 1970s and the second being The Blue Umbrella on Writing for Children. He said, I had a pretty lonely childhood and it helps me to understand a child better. He got the Sahitya Academy in 1992 for Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra and was honored with Padma Shri in 1999 and Padma Bhushan in 19, sorry, in, and Padma Bhushan in 2014. This is, I have given you little introduction about Ruskin Bond. Now, student, come to the summary of today's story. Now, listen. Arun is a 12-year-old boy. After leaving his parents, he travels by bus and arrives Ambala at about 12 noon. He sits on the platform number 8 at Ambala station. His train is to leave hour, hours later at midnight. So he continues to watch the changing scene around. Soon he loses interest in his surroundings. He feels lonely and bored. Suddenly, Arun hears a soft voice from behind. It is a woman in white sari. She looks pale and has dark, kind eyes. She wears no jewels. After a brief introduction, she invites Arun for some refreshment at the station dining room. She takes him, she takes his hand and leads him away. Arun does not refuse the invitation as he feels it would be too impolite to reject it. The woman seems to take a pleasure in watching him eat. While eating, he open, opens up and tells her about his school, his friends, his likes and dislikes. The woman speaks very little and listens to him intently. Arun's school fellow, Satish, along with his mother, appears on the platform. Satish's mother asks Arun if the lady is lady is his mother. Before Arun utters a word, 
the woman comes to his rescue and says that she is his mother. Shatish's mother says that there are many suspicious characters hanging around. She behaves that one should be very careful of strangers. The woman does not feel embarrassed. Satish's mother looks sternly at Arun and advises him to be careful in absence of his mother and never talk to strangers. Arun irritates her by contradicting her that he likes strangers. Satish seems to agree with Arun as he green, grins at him. After some time, the train steams in. Satish and Arun board it. Satish's mother and the stranger stand on the platform talking to the boys. The train starts. Satish says, Goodbye, mother. The wave to each other. Not to be left behind, Arun also utters the farewell words. Goodbye, mother. He continued to gaze at the woman until she disappears appears in the crowd. So, this is the summary of the story. The woman on platform 8. Another day, I will take explanation of every paragraph day by day. So, till then, bye.